What's up guys welcome back to hmht my name is ben your host of course and today apple has released ios 14.6 developer beta 2 now don't mind the developer portion as i have some good news at the time i'm recording this video as you can see this is the time right here 16 39 pm and this update is finally also available to public beta testers so regardless of the profile you have you can easily go into your settings and do an update over the air to ios 14.6 beta 2. now for me this is my iphone x that you're seeing here and obviously you can see the update size it came in at exactly 318.9 megabytes and i was updating from ios 14.6 beta 1 that's the update size that i got and if we go into the settings we want to see the build number or the software changes that came with this update and as you can see there the software version that we have is 18f 5055b that's the build number if you go down a little bit you can see the modem firmware version that we have and it's 4.04.00 coming from beta 1 there is no more than firmware update for the iphone x and with this update in general there was no more than firmware update and i also checked the system storage to make sure that it's not taking an abnormal amount of storage and i'm happy to let you know that this update is average now let's go into the new features and changes that came with this update the first one that i would like to sort of mention has to do with directions and to be specific cycling directions in california and seattle so finally with this update ios 14.6 beta 2 you can get directions and cycling directions if you are in that region obviously they are not going to show up since i'm like so far away uh, i'm in canada so i would have to cross a border and if you are in california and seattle you'll be able to get cycling directions and you also be able to see the hills and see the different terrains and if you want you can set it so that it will be able to avoid those terrains so that's something new that came with this update and the other thing that i would like to highlight if we go into settings and go to privacy right there and go to tracking for some users or some iphone users on ios 14.6 beta 1 and also on ios 14.5 which came out officially to everyone this week monday this allow app to request to track you so this is a new feature that came with ios 14.5 that basically if you turn it on like like here as you can see it says allow apps to ask to track your activity across other companies apps and websites so if apps like facebook and so on want to track you across different applications or website then they have to request for your permission and this feature for some users was sort of grayed out and you couldn't actually activate it but as you can see here on ios 14.6 beta 2 it's finally uh, accessible you can turn it off and if you turn off this it means that apps can track you in the background and you won't be able to know but if you want those specific apps or general apps on your iphone in general to ask for permission first before tracking you then you can turn this on as you can see this is here and i believe with this update once i updated the feature was on by default so if you update to ios 14.6 beta 2 you should be seeing something that's very similar to this it's good that apple is thinking a lot about privacy and the other thing that i would like to mention whilst we're still in settings has to do with the software update itself so in future this is something that isn't here fully but it's mentioned partially in the code of ios 14.6 beta 2 and it has to do with the ability to update over cellular so in future when it comes to ios update you can actually turn off your wi-fi like this and you'll be able to perform software updates so that's something that's being enabled hopefully in future since it was sort of referred in the code of this update so let's go ahead and turn back on my wi-fi and the other thing that i would like to mention has to do with the podcast app so there have been some minor slight wording change when it comes to the podcast application and all these have to do with subscription so if you go to your podcast 
profile right there i took a screenshot there and i just hid my apple id you can see that we have a new menu that says manage subscriptions so this was not there on ios 14.6 beta 1 and it's finally here with ios 14.6 beta 2 but it doesn't fully unlock the subscription feature and it doesn't add this feature to a bundle or the podcast to like apple one subscription bundle yet but it's something that we could sort of be seeing in the future now the other last thing that i would like to mention with this update has to do with the find my application so if you have finally got a hand on the new ad tags you can add the ad tag and basically with the ad tag as long as you open it and bring it close to your iphone it will automatically bring you a pop-up like the uh, how you connect the airpods but i'm still waiting for my airport my um, air tag to show up actually so once they do i'll be able to make a video for you but when you if you have air tags you now get a new air tag emoji picker and when you create a custom name that is something that you'll be able to see now basically those are all the new features and changes that came with ios 14.6 beta 2 there's one issue that i would like to mention that was fixed with this update and it has to do with unlock with apple watch if you go into your settings and go to uh, face id and passcode input your passcode and go to where it says uh unlock with apple watch some users on ios 14.6 beta 1 were having some issues but now with this update i would say that it feels well a little bit smoother unlike before and if you're having issues you can take a look again if you are on ios 14.6 beta 2. now mainly those are all the new features and changes and also just one fix that i wanted to highlight when it comes to this update and i would say overly when it comes to this update performance is quite okay let's open applications youtube you can see only that my wi-fi is not the best but you can see that it opens up quite quick scrolling is quite smooth and if we close like the settings app or most of these applications open the settings you can see that it opens up quite quick so i would say performance wise there isn't much of a difference that i'm feeling right now from ios 14.6 the first beta to the second beta that i'm on and when it comes to battery well my battery isn't the greatest since my battery health has sort of deteriorated you can see that i'm at the bare minimum the last level i'm hanging on the on the last trip but i have 80 percent and before that it was on 80 percent and if we go back here to see the last 10 days usage you can see that i can hardly last a full day on this phone because the battery health isn't really the greatest but that's how this update came in for me so when it comes to when this update can sort of um, be released to everyone we know that wwdc is sort of going to take place from june 7 to 11 so somewhere before that date that's when we can sort of expect it and in the release cycle of ios 14.6 betas this is the second beta that we're getting and already it has a build number that has a b so i don't believe that it's that stable so Keep in mind that this is still a beta and regardless of the letter that's there on the build number there could be some serious bugs and issues and if i encounter any i'll be able to let you know here but i believe at this time we still have about four or five betas to come before this update is officially released to everyone now other than that that's about it for me that's how this ios 14.6 beta came in for me on my iphone if you like this video please leave a like and if you would like to subscribe and help the channel go ahead thank you very much for watching stay safe and have a great weekend and i'll see you in the next video very soon peace